What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my Ninja Speedy. I just came from all the guys and look what I picked up. Today we're going to make some meatloaf and homemade mashed potatoes. I'm in the mood for some meatloaf y'all and I stumbled across this. It's barbecue seasoned smoke flavored meatloaf. So this is what it looks like guys and I love that it comes with this little pan too as well. You could use it to cook or not. I'm going to use it. Why not? Um, and as you can see it's well seasoned. We just got to take the plastic off. No problem. And for me I'm not a big meatloaf fan but I am in the mood for meatloaf right now. So this is the perfect amount for me. You know. I don't want to make a big old thing of meatloaf. And I never finish it. So this is just perfect. And you could just take these, throw it in your deep freezer or your freezer, and whip them out whenever you need it. I love it. Link will be in the description. Oh, and by the way, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, my name's Doug. That should be enough, right? <laughs> and I cut them like this because I'm going to put it in the lower... I'm going to put the air fryer rack in the lower position in the Speedy. All right, guys. Let's do one cup of water. Get my potatoes in there. Make sure they're all flat and spaced out. And like I said, we're going to put the rack in the lower position. So let me close those legs. Perfect. And the reason why I'm putting it in the lower position, guys, is because I don't want the meatloaf to be so high up. Because meatloaf needs some time to cook. So if you put it too high, then you're running into the um, situation where the outside's done, but the inside isn't. So, yeah. Okay, got the plastic off. So this is what it looks like. Smells good. I smell the smoke. I smell the barbecue. Yeah, like I said, you see the seasoning, so this should be mighty fine. I'm probably going to be corny and put ketchup on the top. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not a meatloaf head. Ketchup on the top of my meatloaf is, meatloaf is absolutely fantastic. If you guys make your own little concoction, please continue doing that. Knock yourself out. All right, so let's get it in there. And that fits perfectly. Nice. And by the way, these Weber pans that I use for my Ninja wood fire grill for the uh, drip tray, the insert, is the same size as this. So if you're looking for a foil pan that fits in your Speedy as well as your wood fire um, outside grill drip tray, link will be in the description for the Weber. And I'm going to use this pan to do some um, green beans as well. You'll see that later. So let's get it closed. All right, let's flip that switch up. All right, let's get it on, guys. Now, I'm unsure how much time we need, but I'm going to do 30 minutes. But I'm hoping it will be done in 25. So I'm going to leave it at Speedy Meals. I'm going to leave it at 390, actually. And I'm going to bump it up to 30. Um, we'll check it at 20. We'll, do, we'll get our meat thermometer out and check it out at 20 minutes and see how, much, see how much further we need to go. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. But I'm hoping 25 minutes is good enough since we're doing steam and air frying combination at the same time. I'm hoping that should be enough. But if not, we'll know. We'll figure it out. Our meat thermometer will be our guide. So, for my new subscribers and viewers to this, new to this machine, right now it's preheating. Um, so, to whatever that steam level is going to be, it's going to preheat to that level, and then it will start the countdown, which in this case will be 30 minutes. But we're going to check at 20 and go from there. All right, guys. About four minutes later, countdown has begun. And you should smell my kitchen already. We just like five minutes in. Nothing but flavors coming out of there, man. I smell the smoke. I smell the barbecue. I smell the meatloaf. Man, this is going to be good. 
This could be you, man. Link will be in the description. Stop playing. And link will be in the description for that as well. Alright, guys. I went a bit over. We got five minutes left. I'm supposed to pull it with ten minutes left. But let's see what we're working with right now. Let me get my meat thermometer out. And see. I like the way it's looking. Oh, yeah. 155... Let me check it from another place. So it's pretty much at 150. So I think now this one says 175, but other places. Okay. I'll cook it for the rest of the five minutes and it should be good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put some ketchup on the top. Scrape some of that fat off. But Listen how, crisp, listen how crispy it is already. All right, I'm gonna let it go for five minutes and we should be good to go. Got the butter out already for the homemade mash. All right guys, 30 minutes is just about up. Here we have it. So we're gonna get it out. We're going to get out this pan and let it just rest for like 10 minutes and I'll make the mash and then I'll make my um, green beans and we should be good. Get these potatoes out of here so that the butter can melt easily. And I got this tool to take out my um, potatoes and it'll take out my meatloaf out of the pan very easily. Link will be in the description. Mash this up while it's hot. See, it's just easy peasy. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning, um, some garlic, and some salt. If you want your mashed potatoes smoother, you can add some heavy cream or you can add some more butter. But this is how I like mine. Well, this is how I want it today anyway. I like mashed potatoes. I don't think there's a wrong way. Sometimes I like it even with the skin on. Like I wash the skin, but I won't peel it off like I did today. They need it like that. And this is just two rusted potatoes. This could be you. Bacon grease as well in there. You know what I'm about to say. This could be you. I went ahead and put it in the high position, guys, with the rack. And did it for five minutes on broil. I was figuring it would be too low. It would probably take 10 minutes if I kept it all the way to the bottom. And I'm hungry, so we got to get eaten. Smells absolutely fantastic, guys. And you know what I'm about to say again. This could be you. I'm ready to eat, man. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, guys. You saw the paper towel go up. It means it's time to eat. And I want to taste this. I want to make sure it's smoky. I'm going to tell you right now, it's nice and moist. Far from dry. Let's get a taste. You first. You got it? All right. 
Oh yeah. That is good. Now the smoke flavor is there. It's a hint of smoke. That's what it should say. But flavor good. It's got a little bite to it. I taste the barbecue. Let's have some of the top with the ketchup. I'm definitely buying this again. Let's have it with some mash, guys. You got it? Oh, yeah. That is so good. That's perfect. That's perfect right there. Like I said, I taste a hint of smoke. Um, so if you were looking for like real smoke flavor, eh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be jumping up and down to buy this. But I mean, as far as the meatloaf flavor, it's fantastic. Fantastic. 9.5 out of 10. Easy. You got it? Mmm. Very good. This is season how it should be. And guys, you, you may not have this. I mean, you may not have all these in your area. But, you know, Super Walmart sells similar meatloaf, you know, a meatloaf package like this. Might not be. It'd be a different company, but it's the same thing. It'll be, you know, under two pounds of meatloaf already seasoned. You just put it, you take it out your freezer or it should just be refrigerated. But if you put it in for a long time, you put it in your freezer, take it out 30 minutes and you're uh, speedy. You're good to go. Mm. That's so good. Some of you just wanted some green beans by itself. Get that. just perfect this is just so good guys I'm gonna give you a quick story time with me and meatloaf for some reason I have I must have some type of chemical imbalance when I make meatloaf from scratch you know like when I shape out the meat and put the breadcrumbs and all that stuff for some reason that makes me nauseous I don't know why and I'll make it and then I don't want to eat it it happened to me two different times. The last two times I made it homemade, made it on camera, ate it, you know, ate my plate like this. And I didn't even finish the plate. Like I got to this point and then I just threw it out. I felt like I, I just felt nauseous. So for some reason, I cannot make homemade mash. This is about as homemade as I can make it. Now, if you made it, I eat it all day. It's just something with me dealing with that all of that ground beef and, and shaping it. I don't know. I make burgers, no problem. It's something with meatloaf. I don't know. And I'm not going to figure it out. This is my way out. And it's actually good because, like I said, I have to be in the mood for meatloaf. And this is the perfect amount. This is the perf this is a perfect amount for three to four servings. Mm. I really enjoyed this, guys. I'm telling you, I'm leaving a link in the description to this Ninja Speedy for my new viewers and subscribers and, and, and returning viewers and subscribers. If you don't have a Ninja Speedy, I think you need, you need to get one. You just need to get one. And to the new viewers and subscribers, click that link because it actually does even more stuff than what we did today. This is just, uh, we did what? 40% uh, of what it could do probably, right? So click that link, see all what it can do. And better yet, I have a playlist, a Ninja Speedy playlist. I think this is the 50th video. So you'll have 50 videos to scroll through of mine in this playlist that I'm going to pin to the comments that you could look, um, you know, look through. And I'm sure you'll find at least five that you'll go back and make as one of your favorites time and time again. So definitely look that up as well. Um, click favorites on it so you can easily go back to it, whatever have you. But it's all good. I'll leave everything that I did in the description. Super easy, guys. And like I said, um, this meatloaf I got at Aldi. 
It's made by, what is the company named Texas? But, oh, and, the, and as you saw in the beginning, they have another uh, seasoned flavor of this. It's not smoked barbecue. It's something that I don't know what it is. But I, out of the two, I would probably pick this. This this had a whole bunch of flavors in it. But like I said, too, your, your um, supermarket, wherever you shop at, will have their version of this type of meatloaf. And the, you know, the time and temps will apply to that. So, you don't, if you don't have all these or if you don't shop at all these, I'm sure your supermarket sells something very similar to this. So, just follow. You can still follow the time and temps. That's all I got, guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.